In this course, you'll learn how to build an Android application that can find and mark your device's location on a Google map, determine latitude and longitude coordinates of locations, search for locations using keywords like city names, street names, business names, and postal codes, get autocomplete suggestions from Google based on keyword searches, how to get location suggestions from the Google Places API and Place Picker interface, and last but not least, how to get information on businesses like website URLs or phone numbers. Here is an application demo of what we're going to be building in this course. Notice to start, the application centers itself on my location. My location can be identified by the small blue dot right here. You'll be able to do all the main functions every map can do, such as zooming in or out, just as I'm doing here. Now I'll recenter the map on my location by pressing the GPS widget in the top right. Alright, let's test the search suggestion autocompletion. I'll start typing California, and as you can see, it immediately starts suggesting locations. I'll just select California, United States. And there we go, it redirects my view to that location. Let's try searching for a business, not a state. Let's search for Universal Studios. Once again, we're getting all kinds of suggestions from the Google Places API. I'll just select this one. Now let's click the exclamation mark in the top left hand corner. This is going to give us some more information on the location that we just searched. We have the address, the phone number, the website, and the price rating. If you're wondering about the price rating, basically all it is is a price rating that Google gives to locations and it represents how expensive that location is. So a 5 is the most expensive and a 1 is the least expensive. Universal Studios ranks pretty high here with a 4.6. Now let's just enter some text without selecting an auto-completion suggestion from the API. I'll just type New York and click the return key on the keyboard. Notice it still takes me to New York without sele selecting an auto-completion suggestion. Now I want to recenter on my location and I want to test the last feature, the Google Places location suggestions. Basically what this is going to do is Take my location and give me suggestions on where I might want to go based on locations that are near me. So to do this, I'm going to click on the map icon in the top left. This is going to open a dialog that Google provides with their API code. It creates a list of nearby locations and I can just choose one. I'm going to select the Thirsty Penguin and then click Select. Once again, I can get some information from this location by pressing the exclamation mark in the top left. So if you want to build an Android application that leverages the newest features and integrations from the Google Maps API and Google Places API, make sure to check out the course for free on YouTube. And I'll see you in that next video.